patient coordinator here with Dr. Nico, and we've been answering some of your questions about breast augmentation. So the question we're going to dive into right now is, what is the recovery like for a breast augmentation? Yep. This is one of our most popular surgeries, right? So everybody sure. wants to know, when can I get back to work? When I can, can I lift things right away if I have young kids? Yeah, it's a great question, but it's not like a straightforward question, right? Because when a patient asks, well, how long is recovery? Well, what do you mean? When can you go back to work? When can you work out? What do you do for work? And yeah. That kind of stuff. <laughs> so I, I first tell patients, breast augmentation, believe it or not, is one of the easier recovery. I mean, although you're lifting the muscle off the chest wall, you feel a little tightness, but if you do desk work, I tell a patient you can do this on a Thursday and go back to work on Monday. Yes, you're a little sore. Most people really take pain medicine for maybe two, three days and they switch with extra strength Tylenol. Now, I know there's a variation between pain sensitivity. Some patients don't really take pain medicine. Some patients are a little bit, you know, they need a little bit more care. So it varies, right? Yeah. So it's true. hard to predict 100% of the time, but in general, okay, I would say back to work in a few days, you can do whatever you want in two weeks. You can do whatever you want as long as you can tolerate it. Lifting, working out, whatever. We have a lot of moms, yes. right? So they have yes. a little one. So, you know, you have to be realistic with these patients, right? Because they, have, they got food to cook, kids right. to carry. So I tell them, look, if you just care for, for a week, you'll yes. be fine. And typically, we have a lot of moms, and after a week, we can't expect them to like lay off and not do anything for two weeks. Yeah. I'll have a lot of husband calling. You know? <laughs> so technically, and the main thing is the incisions, right? Like yeah. we're not wanting them to lift because of those incisions. Yeah, the incision, and then you know we, we always worry about hematomas. You know, like you pop a little blood vessel, get a little bleed. But typically, ninety-five percent of hematomas happen during the first twenty-four hours. But it can happen up to two weeks. But it's very, very rare. So technically, yes, two weeks, but. Realistically, you know, one week out, you can pretty much do whatever you want and you do desk work, you can go back to work. Awesome. That's Hope really that helps. Great.